guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. I'm Jaben Morales and on today's episode, we're going to tackle about conversion. So on this video, we're going to see a flashback of a story which is based on my personal life. So at the end of the vlog, we're going to answer questions about conversion and we're going to relate it to my personal experiences. Without further ado, let's go jump right into the video. Ito si Joben Morales dati. Isang happy-go-lucky person. Being fortunate enough in life, tingin niya nasa kanya ng lahat. Kaya naman, naging masyado siyang kampante, arogante, at mayabang. Lahat ng mga biyayang dumating sa kanya, hindi niya pinahalagahan. Dahil nga sa tingin ko'y nasa akin ng lahat, ni minsan ay di ako nagtsaka mag-aaral. Para sa akin, pagsasayang lang ng oras yun. At pa ako mag-aaral kung nasa akin na naman lahat. At yun, naging patuloy akong bulakbol. Imbis na mag-aaral, pakikipagbarkada ang inatupag ko. Inuman dito, inuman doon, bisyo dito, at bisyo doon. In short, I became very arrogant. Akala ko ganito lang kadali yung buhay. Puro kasiyahan lang. This is where life really hit me. All the problems, challenges, and obstacles hit me all at once. Binigsa ko lahat ng subject ko sa eskwelahan namin. And as a result, I have to retake all of them. And hindi lang yun, marami pang problema ang nagdaan sa akin. Mga totoong kaibigan na tinuring ko dati, isa-isa na silang lumayo sa akin. Yung ko napagtanto na masyado talaga ako naging arogante, yabang, at taong walang pangarap sa buhay. Ito yung pinakamamahal kong girlfriend dahil nga sa maling pagtrato ko sa kanya, iniwan na din ako. Dumating ako sa punto ng buhay ko na gusto ko na sumuko. I was very down physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Ang pakiramdam ko, Parang ayaw sa akin ng mundo. Lahat ng bagay na nasa akin noon, lahat yun nawala. Hindi ko na talaga alam. Lumipas sa mga araw, mas lalo ako nagiging down. Gusto ko lang lagi mapag-isa sa buhay. And then this happens. Nakita ng mami ko yung paghihirap na pinagdadaanan ko. Kaya naman in her own simple way, nag-iwan siya ng something on my bed while I was sleeping. And... That thing that she left to me was a Bible. Pagkagising ko, laking gulat ko na mayroong Biblia sa tabi ko. Dati kasi, akala ko, bali wala lang yan. Pero dahil nga sa pinagdadaanan ko, sinubukan ko itong buksan at basahin. Hanggang sa naging patuloy-tuloy na yung pagbasa ko at naging parte na siya ng buhay ko. On both our free times, my mom and I often do Bible studies and prayer meetings. Dito ko mas na-realize yung mga pagkakamali ko. Dahil sa patuloy kong pagbabasa ng Biblia and with the right guidance of my parents, natuto akong magsimba. Sa pagsisimba, mas naging malapit ako sa Diyos. Dito ko rin natutunan yung kahalagahan ng repentance o pagsisisi sa mga nagawa mong kasalanan. Dito ko na-develop yung pag-asa o hope Kala ko huli na lahat pero hindi pala. At yun, nagsimula akong magbago. And because I developed a closer relationship with God, biglang nagkakulay yung buhay ko. Yung dating patamad-tamad at walang pangarap, e eh isang taong may pangarap na ngayon. At para matupad yun, ang ginawa ko ay mag-aral ng mabuti. Yung mga taong nasaktan ko dati, humingi ako ng tawad sa kanila at ngayon, mas malalim ang aming samahan. Kayat ko rin yung mga kaibigan ko na maglingkod para sa Diyos at para sa simbahan sa aming eskwelahan. Tayon, tuwing may misa, kami ang mga sakristan na nagsiserve. Pati na rin sa pag-aaral. Dahil sa pagsisikap namin at pagpupursige, lahat kami ay nakakuha ng mga award. So guys, so that's my personal story or life experience and everything that happened in the video, I experienced it all. And before we uh, connect the happenings in my life to conversion, 
let us first define what conversion is, where should it start, and why is it necessary for social transformation. Oh guys, ano nga ba ang meaning ng conversion? So before we jump right into its meaning, let us first have a brief history about the word conversion. So conversion comes from the Latin word conversio, which means to turn around. So in the New Testament, Greek writers use the word metanoia, which means a change of heart, particularly towards repentance. So guys, diba, when we hear the word conversion, first thing that pops into our head is change. Ibig sabihin, diba, pag narinigat yung word na conversion, it is a transition, a process, or basically a change from this to that. So, I, as I mentioned earlier, the meaning of conversion is turning around or change of heart. So, ano yung turning around na yun and change of heart na binabanggit ko kanina? Basically guys, what I'm talking about change of heart and uh, turning around is living a life of sin back then, then transitioning or converting into trusting God. To sa conversion process, tayo as human beings would be able to realize our sins that would lead us to repentance. Ano ang repentance? In Tagalog, ito yung pagsisisi sa mga nagawa nating kasalanan. Guys, in conversion, God gives us new life. So, yung ginagawa ng natin as human beings in conversion or from transitioning, it is a human act. But, however, this human act would not work if walang guidance ng Divine One, which is si God yun. So, follow up question, what enables us humans to be in a conversion method we're in? Back then, we lived the life full of sins and then now, we trust God. So, ang sagot dyan ay yung tinatawag nating God's grace. Through God's grace, we are enabled to uh, undergo conversion and stay away and repent from our sins into being closer to God and having a, a stronger relationship with Him. So, next question guys. Where should conversion start? So, for me guys, personally, conversion should start in each and every one of us. It starts by realizing and knowing our sins which leads to repentance o yung sinasabi ko nga kanina na pagsisisi. Kung baga, ang conversion sisimula talaga sa atin. Hindi siya persahan o sa pilitan na pagpilit sa'yo na magbago ka. It starts within our hearts by opening our hearts and our minds and fully devoting ourselves and our souls, spirit to God, this is where conversion starts. Last question, why is it necessary for social transformation? So, mahalaga ang conversion sa social transformation because through conversion, tinutulungan niya tayo, tayong as humans, na lumayo at magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan and it results to having a closer and stronger relationship with God as I've mentioned earlier. So guys, social transformation, it is all about a change in the society systemic characteristics. So conversion is very necessary or important in social transformation because if we all open our hearts and minds towards conversion or repenting of our sins and staying away from them, it would bring us closer to God. And as a result, the society would be more harmonized, people would attain more peace and happiness through God's grace. To my personal life experience, guys, so diba, back then, as shown in the montage, I was living a life full of sins, wherein I was very arrogant, Mayabang ako and as a result, marami ako natapakan at nasaktan na tao. So, despite all his blessings that he is showering me, never ko siyang pinasalamatan and instead, I took for granted 
all that he is giving me. So there came a point in my life wherein I became very down due to the challenges and obstacles that life has given me. And those were the times na kumbaga sobrang down na down ako. And through the help of my mom, through introducing the Bible, I was able to read it and it opened my heart and my mind towards converting into living a life full of sin into becoming a better person and more importantly a better child of God. So shown on the last part of the video, I was able to become a better person and a better child of God. So one thing I learned from conversion is that when you undergo its process, you would be able to distinguish the right from wrong. And from that, by doing what is right and what is ethical, you would be able to stay away from all those sins and negativity. So as a result, you can become a good role model to others and influence them to do good. So if that thing is spread throughout the society, community, or even in your friends and family, this would make a world a better place to live in through what I said again, God's grace. So guys, that would be all in today's video. So I hope marami kayo natutunan and somehow it inspires you to change for the better and be a better child of God. So again, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more updates. So once again, I'm Joven Morales, signing out. Peace!